I made a promise that I was going to eat at every restaurant in town, and I put on about 10 pounds doing that. I You're going to so. get all the exercise in the world with the two little ones. Oh, let absolutely. Me tell you. Oh, absolutely. Hello, Washington Township, Gloucester County. Just making good on our promise to try to eat at every single restaurant here in town. We just kind of all put a couple pounds on, but we just stop for a quick break, and then we'll be back on the trail. It's about you and the future of Washington Township. It's about rebuilding our community for our parents, our grandparents, our seniors, our veterans. Hey Jack, how you doing? Good to see Good you. To see you. What's going on? <laughs> Keep them busy. Uh, all the empty storefronts, it's just, I know we need development, I know we need a tax base. We don't need new uh, shopping centers, we need to fix up the existing ones and rent them out first. And, and we need more high-end dollar uh, retailers. You know, why don't we have a Cheesecake Factory? Why don't we have a Wegmans? Apple why don't store. we have uh, a, yeah, Apple store. an Apple Store? Hi, my name is Dave. I am a United States Marine veteran, also a firefighter. I will be voting along with my family by mail, column B. This is about our township, to not just so much the present, but move it forward into the future. These are the things that we're forgetting as taxpayers. We need to better, not so much the community we reside in, but our children need a better environment, better future to move forward. Three gentlemen that we're voting for out of column, column B, for which my wife Mary has already uh, mentioned, uh, Yerkes and Del Barello and Brown. We should vote for them. It's so hard to open a business in the township. And I understand that permits have to be issued and inspections need to be done, but it needs to be sped up. Uh, a business shouldn't be trying to open uh, and it takes over a year because they're waiting for inspections. Like Wawa near us. Yeah, like what, no where's one. the Super Wawa? I'm Nick. I'm a senior advertising executive. I'm voting early by mail for Don, Pete, and Jack. And, yeah, and like my wife and I, we have this home. We pay $10,000 in taxes and we pay these taxes every month plus our mortgage. And I mean, sooner or later, it's just going to yeah. chase you away. Chase we don't want to do that. Sure. So I am assuming that somewhere along the line, we will have intelligent politicians, legislatures, governor, and state board of ed uh, will come back and say to us, we're going to delay the sex ed program so that we can enhance and fill in the gaps that our students are missing. We talked about new business not coming in and we're losing businesses such as gas stations, Taco Bell, Wendy's. Um, do you have a friend lease? And that's the problem. They forget about the current occupants who are spending thousands of dollars in property taxes. They have thousands of dollars of overhead. Well, we have to pay attention to them. Otherwise, they're going to go elsewhere. Right, right. Okay? They took $6 million out of the surplus fund, which is the emergency fund. We had $7.4 million. They took six million dollars to balance the budget and left you with one million and yeah, left us with 1.4 right. million which is nothing in an emergency just so they could advertise we didn't raise your taxes right mm -hmm. How, do you have any idea what's going on while we're losing our business i think number one is business reputation here in the township i've heard from business people that we're not business friendly we're going to change that we want to attract not only new businesses but we want to go out to the businesses that are here and say, how can we help you? What we'd like to do is tear down some barriers, cut some of the fees, assign someone in the building to work with a new prospective business owner who's going to bring business to our township. It's going to be here 30, 40 years. Employ local people. I've known Jack for well over 40 years. I'm, I'd like to sit down with Jack and figure out how long it's been. I think it's been since the 80s at least. Uh, if not before, and he's always been a just a good stand-up guy. It's the kind of guy you want as a neighbor or brother-in-law, you know. And uh, Don spent his whole adult life in service, you know, to to the township. Good afternoon, residents of Washington Township of Gloucester County. My name is Don Brown, and I'm a candidate for Washington Township Council. Pete's just a, a good all-around guy as well. Peter Delbrello. Pete Delbrello. How are Hi, you? Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name is Pete Dubrello III, and I'm running for Washington Township Council. A lot of residents are asking, who is Pete Dubrello, and what does he stand for? I, I know his father very, very well. And uh, they're just good men, and that's what we need looking out for the township is good men. We're good citizens. We need everyone to know that Washington Township is open for business.
We are senior citizens on fixed income. And we are voting for column B. We have to start changing the political diorama, getting rid of Democrats who are progressive and are not worried about our kids, our families, and this township. So do I, but I know, I know who you are, what you're about, and I know you're a good person to be uh, out there representing us. Well, we talked about um, November 8th, how important it is to vote for column B, uh, people that represent Washington Township, especially our school system. Uh, education is very, very important to both of us. We are both teachers, retired, but now our grandchildren are going to Washington Township. Hi, I'm a stay-at-home mom and I care about the children of Washington Township. I am voting early in person for column B. We know what has to be done to help people like you, senior citizens. Yeah, I'm retired now. You're retired. Okay. Yeah. Growing families, everyone needs tax relief. It can't keep going. We know what has to be done. The problem is the current council administration isn't willing to do what has to be done. There's too many people making money off our backs. We're yeah. going to stop that. Yeah. That's one of the first yeah. things we're going to do yeah. as soon as we're inaugurated. We're going to stop it. It's lawsuit after lawsuit. Mm. It's not thriving business. And it's not helping the businesses that are already here. By putting Don, Jack, and myself inside this building, we're going to change that. We're going to have open forum meetings where you come and discuss about opening a new business here in town. Or something that might be bothering you inside of your neighborhood. We're going to have a dialogue where we can actually work on those problems together. They're going to be available after the fact. Once they get in, they're not going to disappear. There's three different phone numbers that they can call, right? So there's one phone number. Um, it's 833-VOTE-BYD. If you press one, it'll dial Don Brown's cell phone. If you press two, it dials Jack's cell phone. And if you press three, it'll dial Pete. And it goes right to their uh, cell phone. That's so, a, that's un, unheard of. Yeah. That's, they want open communication, 24-7 communication. That's the goal. That's the crux of this campaign. And once they're in the council seats, it's, it's an open door policy. It, it's we're about not gonna, the people. It is. Right here. Right? It's Brown, York, Del Barillo for Washington Township Council. It's about okay. you. There's a phone number here. You can call that. Uh -huh. We want to respond to what your concerns are. Because we don't know everyone's concerns. Right. But we're not going to be the type of council where you come to a council meeting and you're um, told, well, you're limited. We're not going to try to intimidate you. Basic democracy starts right here. Uh, and that's why we should start with the town council. We should mm -hmm. start with uh, the school board and work our way up to the legislature mm -hmm. and work our way up to the governor. Yes. Uh, once we uh, build the building blocks for a stable program at the bottom, this state will be in a better shape than what it is today.